Plymouth's a busy coastal city with a famous maritime and naval history. There's a lot to see above the water, but do you know what's beneath the surface around Plymouth? You might be surprised. There's a wealth of marine life right on your doorstep. Many of the habitats and species found in Plymouth's waters are of international importance, which is why it's recognised as a marine protected area. The Plymouth MPA crosses the Devon-Cornwall border and stretches from the upper reaches of the Tamar estuary out to the open sea. It's a really big area and there are lots of ways to get out there, enjoy and discover something new, whether that's on, in or by the water. Protected species of fish like smelt and Alice Shad migrate from the sea up into the Tamar estuary every spring to spawn. They head for fresh water at the top of the estuary and when the temperature's right, they spawn at night, laying their eggs on the riverbed. After the young fish hatch, they stay in the estuary to mature before retracing their parents' journey. Close to their spawning sites at the edge of the estuary creeks, there are areas of salt marsh. The mud and sand flats uncovered at low tide in the estuaries are home to burrowing animals like worms and shellfish, a feast for wading birds. Birds visit the estuaries throughout the year and there are several protected species, including avocet and little egret. Near the mouth of the Tamar estuary at Devil's Point, rocky reefs and sediments support filter feeding animals. Along the coast, kelp forest and seagrass beds grow in the sunlight and provide shelter for many different animals. Moving further out to sea, around the Muse Stone and the Eddystone Lighthouse, there are spectacular reefs with colourful jewel anemones and exotic looking cold water corals. These reefs are busy places that attract species of fish that are important to the fishing industry. Crustaceans and even some familiar marine mammals. The amazing diversity of marine life around Plymouth is precious and worth protecting. The more species there are in the sea, the more productive it is, providing us with economic and health benefits, climate regulation and beautiful areas for recreation and relaxation. We can all help to protect our MPA now and for future generations. We can avoid disturbing wildlife by keeping our distance. Make the most of our blue spaces and get others involved too. And we can keep our coasts and sea litter and pollution free. <laughs>